Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudo Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.6 PC Edition uh, and in this video I'm going to be doing a little bit of mining to obtain some materials that I need for conquering an ocean monument. Uh, I'm going to be doing this right from the beginning of a new game. Now I do need um, uh, my mining goals are a half stack of iron and uh, 30 redstone. Okay, spawned in a swamp here. I'm going to go ahead and start getting some wood right away. Uh, so as, as I was saying, I am uh, looking for a half stack of iron and 30 redstone. Uh, the, um, uh, the redstone means that I'm going to have to go pretty deep. So uh, I'll be doing some deep mining then. Uh, the, uh, let me get a crafting table here. and some sticks and an axe just to speed up gathering the wood alright so um, <coughs> I need to go pretty deep and uh, because I'm start just starting out a new game I don't really have a lot of materials uh, I need to figure out a way to get down pretty far safely uh, without um, uh, having to set up a base or anything. I'm at the, by the end of this first Minecraft day, I want to be underground uh, and I want to um, uh, be headed to layer 11. Okay. I think I'm going to get probably about 24 blocks of wood here. Uh, the things that I'm going to need in order to get down, uh, I'll need that wood, uh, which is not a whole lot. Um, I think I'm missing a couple of blocks here. Uh, so I'll need the wood, and I will need also um, some food, uh, and I'm going to be gathering uh, uh, at least one, uh, preferably two stacks of sand. Okay, where's that dirt block here? Gather up some of these saplings for some one-off fuel. Okay. I think I can reach it from here. There we go. That's probably enough wood. Go ahead and put that back for no reason whatsoever. Uh, okay, so uh, I've got my wood uh, and the things that I'm going to need to craft with it. Uh, let's grab half of this and probably um, a bit more. Convert that much to, um, uh, to planks and then let's convert all of this into sticks. So I'm going to need 27 ladders. Uh, actually, technically I only need 26, but 27 is good enough. Uh, I'm going to need a pickaxe and two shovels. And I will also need uh, some doors and some trap doors. And I think that's pretty much everything that I need uh, to craft at the moment. Uh, next up, I'm going to need to get some sand. See if I can find any shores around here. Shores around uh, swamps tend not to have a lot of sand, but there's some food. Don't need a whole lot of food. Um, uh, I'm not going to be down uh, underground for very long. Probably want to get more than two chicken if possible, though. Are there any other chickens around? There's a third. Well, that's going to have to be good enough for now. Alright, so there's uh, some planes over there. I'm going to head over there. I'm more likely to find some sand. So I am going to be mining straight down. That's what's going to get me down the fastest. Uh, now I know that you're never ever supposed to mine straight down, um, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to be careless about it. Uh, that's why I need the wood and the sand. 
those things are going to help me uh, get down safely and quickly. Oh, there's a village over there. That's, uh, that's convenient. And okay, maybe I'll go raid that later. Doesn't look like they have a blacksmith. All right, so let's start gra gathering the sand. Uh, like I said, I need um, one at least uh, at least one stack, preferably two. That's it's not a whole lot of sand, um, but um, it might be pushing the limits of how much I can do in the first Minecraft day. Okay, let's see how much do I have. There's 30. Now, wooden tools have a durability of 60. Um, and uh, because I'm starting with nothing, I want to make maximum use of the resources that I have. Uh, I'm going to be using um, uh, using my wooden tools as furnace fuel, as just one-off furnace fuel. And uh, that means I don't really want them to break. So. Uh, I'm going to be gathering um, uh, 59 blocks of sand with each shovel, and then I will just be uh, using, um, there we go, there's 59, and then I'll just be um, uh, digging out uh, the rest by hand, uh, the rest of the stack by hand. Okay, so I've got uh, almost one stack, burn through a shovel. Uh, there's still some sand in there, but digging it out would... Um, would cause some water currents, but uh, I don't really see a lot else around, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, risk the water currents. Start from over here. Alright, so I've got 14, target is 59 with this shovel, it alright, now I'm going to be fighting the current here. Getting close to my two stacks. Let's get some of this underwater. Fifty two again. I want to hit 59 with this particular shovel. Oh! I must have miscounted. 56. I left some somewhere. Don't know where it went. Um, no matter. Just get the rest by hand. There we go. Uh, two stacks of sand. That's fine. Uh, now I'm going to start mining from uh, layer 63, <coughs> that sea level. Uh, so I'm going to find a nice spot to start from, maybe over in this swampy area here. I'm going to be, uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to be going straight down. So. Um, the point at which I enter the ground uh, makes a little bit of difference as to my likelihood of finding uh, materials. Uh, if I choose a spot that's sort of at the, um, uh, at the corners of four different chunks, I'm more likely to find things like diamonds um, uh, with, uh, with branch mining. So let's uh, find a nice spot here, maybe over here somewhere. And let me see the numbers. Um, so, somewhere over here, 
it's pretty close. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, the sun is getting low. I could start from uh, 63 uh, or 64, but uh, 27 ladders will allow me to start from 65. Just need to make sure that there's nothing above me, uh, and that's because I want um, uh, a skylight to filter down the um, uh, to filter down the shaft here. So I dig one hole, place a ladder on the side, step in the hole, and I'm going to place doors all around. Okay, then I need to put a couple of wood planks up on top. Uh, on opposite doors here. One wood plank is uh, required for the trap door. Uh, two the second wood plank on the other side is just so that I don't have to carry around an odd number of wood planks. Okay, so I'm going to dig two blocks down and then I'm going to place a ladder at the bottom on the opposite side. Go down, collect material, uh, step up on the ladder, and dig down two more blocks. So gather material. So I've already got some iron, but I don't have a, a stone pickaxe. I don't even have enough cobblestone. So I'm going to ignore it for now, and I'll come back up and get it later. Again, my targets are 32 iron and 30 redstone. Now, other things that I might want to get uh, while I'm down there. Oh, I uh, hit a cavern already. Um, that's uh, great for demonstrating the use of sand here. So I want to make sure that I have uh, a boundary all the way around my shaft here. Looks like this is pretty deep, so okay. Uh, I'll wait to get down there to put more sand down there. Do have to be a little careful coming down the ladder. Okay, let's uh, fill this in. Now I can place sand over here just by placing it against the side of the ladder. And let me hit this side here. Okay, now I'm now my shaft is completely enclosed again. Uh, down two blocks. Place a ladder on the opposite side. Two more blocks. Ladder on the opposite side. Okay. You notice it is dark, but because um, uh, my trapdoor is uh, uh, has a view of the sky above. Uh, any moonlight is uh, filtering all the way down the shaft here, so um, it doesn't get too dark. Don't need torches yet. I do hear a zombie growling at me, so uh, there must be uh, probably other caves around. Uh, the two stacks of sand that I have um, is really kind of overkill uh, for, uh, for what you saw there with respect to the, um, uh, the cavern that I, uh, I just bypassed. Um, the two stacks is usually not necessary. Uh, the reason why I need it is in case, um, uh, in case I end up coming in over the top of a ravine. Okay, so there are some mobs down there. Um, I can uh, a little bit more safely uh, get down here, and I'd, I'd still be fine on that ladder down there. They're not gonna—they're not gonna get to me. That's probably what I'll do. I'll just come down here, and let me uh, fill in this. I can't quite reach. Uh, all right, so I'll have to remove this block here. Uh, can't reach over there. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll have to take out another block here. Briefly risk uh, skeletons targeting me. Alright, so I need to get down there. I can take out... Uh, well, no, I'm not going to take out anything else. Okay, this is fine. Two blocks down, place a ladder. Okay, now I'm bypass that next cavern here.
And I did start at layer 65, and I want to go down to layer 11 because I'm searching for that redstone. Uh, the 27 ladders will get me all the way down. Uh, so as soon as my ladders are used up, I, I know that I've basically arrived. Just a few more. Again, uh, the process is uh, two blocks down. If there are any holes, uh, you can fill things up with sand so that you can uh, create an enclosed shaft. Uh, go down, gather materials, and back up on the ladder to dig down two more blocks. And this allows me to dig straight down uh, to get down pretty fast. I, I've um, tested a variety of uh, uh, mining methods, and this one is the one that really gets me down the fastest, uh, at least um, with minimal material. Okay, there's my last ladder. Uh, so here is layer 12, right where I'm standing here. You can see my Y coordinate. Um, what I want is uh, layer 11. So I'm going to dig down one more block. And this is where I'm going to start my branch mining. Uh, so I'm going to dig out one block on each side here just to make sure that there's no uh, lava flowing in. Uh, go down and grab that material and take out the others. Okay, so uh, here, this uh, three long uh, passage here, this is going to be my, uh, my, main, um, uh, my main line, and this is going to be one the first branch. Um, but uh, before I get started, I think it's time to go ahead and start uh, making some lighting here. Uh, let me get a, um, let me get a furnace going. Okay, and I will start by using up one of those shovels that I, I uh, had used to get the sand. Now, I will need more torches, but um, uh, in all likelihood, I'm going to end up encountering some coal uh, pretty soon, so I'm not going to waste my wood on creating a whole bunch of torches. Uh, this shovel is almost gone, or the pickaxe, sorry, there's the coal already. Alright, the durability of this pickaxe is expended, it's now furnace fuel, uh, and I'm going to need to make a stone pickaxe. Let's just go ahead and convert all of that to sticks. Let's make a stone shovel too. Okay, I got my pickaxe and shovel. Okay, so uh, for each branch, I'm going to go in one, two, three, four, and five blocks, and I'm going to place a torch. And then I can go in six more blocks before I would need to think about adding more torches. So that should be six blocks. And down here, this has a light level of 8. Um, and that's uh, that's just being lit by the single torch. If I went any further, I'd have to start placing more torches to ensure that mobs don't spawn. Uh, so that's where I'm going to end that branch. And now I'm going to come back and maybe get some of this coal here. Okay. So again, my targets are a half stack of iron and um, uh, nearly a, a, a half stack of redstone. Uh, 30 is going to suit me. I'll probably get the redstone way sooner than the iron. Um, and that's just because uh, one redstone ore, ore gives me four to five redstone at a time. So I don't need to find very many. Uh, along the way, if I see any coal, I'm going to grab that. Uh, if I see any diamonds, I'll grab those, but I'm going to ignore pretty much everything else. Uh, now, I just took out a whole bunch of coal, uh, and this uh, spoils a little bit the, um, the branch. Uh, and so what I'm going to do 
in order to make sure that my mines stay regular, uh, I'm going to just fill in everything that I mined with blocks that I don't care about. Uh, and the reason why I'm doing that, uh, there's actually two reasons. The first reason is that it makes it a little bit easier for me to manage my inventory uh, when I'm down here um, uh, just at the start of a new game. You know, I haven't really established a base or anything. I don't have uh, uh, I don't have a place where I put stuff. So I've really just got uh, what I'm carrying here. And uh, getting rid of blocks that I don't care about uh, is, is going to help me manage that a little bit better. Um, the, uh, the second reason is that as long as my mines stay regular, um, then I don't really have to remember anything special about this if I ever decide to come back here. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be taking away anything that I don't care about, so it could be that I come back here at some later point in the game and grab uh, uh, other stuff that I bypassed. Uh, okay, so uh, now I've finished this branch. I'm going to continue my main line by three more blocks. There's one, got some iron already, two, and three. Okay. And then I'm going to place a torch right on the block, uh, one block away from the end of the line, and go ahead and reclaim this torch here. Uh, now, I will be putting in another branch right at this torch, uh, but this branch goes this way, so the other branch is going to go the opposite direction, and I'm going to stagger my branches. So again, go in two, three, three, four, five, drop a torch, and go in six more. Okay, here's some redstone. I'm going to need to get a, um, uh, need to get an iron pickaxe, which means I'm going to need to cook up some iron. Okay, let me fill that in. Okay, so there is some also some iron up above. Um, I'll get that probably in a little while. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start just extending this another three for the next branch. There's some more redstone. Again, I'm going to get the redstone right away. Uh, it really just doesn't take very long to get that much redstone. The iron is the problem. So in three, four, five, uh, and I'm going to need some more torches. Okay, let's see if this is cooked up yet. Almost. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wait for that because I want to use uh, uh, the remainder to cook some chicken here. Let's at least get one. Okay, make up an iron pickaxe in order to get that, uh, that redstone out of the way. Okay, so I've already gone in three blocks. There's four, five, and six. So at this point, light level of 8, and um, I'm not going to get any of this redstone until the very end, If after I gather all the iron. If I still need more redstone, I can come back and just grab it. Uh, but I've already got 13, and it just won't take me very long to get the rest. Okay, so down here, uh, that's in 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six. Got some diamonds. Fantastic. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't leave any. Uh, oh, that's what it was. There's some coal over here. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and grab this coal, <clears throat> but I don't want to mine straight up from here. Uh, and that's because, you know, something could fall on me lava, water. Um, the lava is typically not a problem, and the reason why is because it takes uh, a little bit of time for the lava to spread, and in that time I can quick slam a block in here if necessary. 
Uh, water's uh, water's irritating, but all of the worst that's going to happen is it's going to wash away one of my torches, and I'll just replace it. Uh, the real problem is uh, creepers. Okay, gravel might fall, but uh, I'll just step out of the way. Creepers are going to be the problem. A uh, skeleton or a zombie that falls down out of here once I poke this, um, I'll just whack it to death. But um, uh, if a creeper falls, uh, or maybe even a witch, it's a problem. So I'm going to put a block right here before I mine this. When I mine it, even if a creeper fell down, it would be stuck there, and and I would just be able to kill it, step away, uh, or you know, hit it, step away, hit it, step away, uh, because fighting creepers in these confined spaces is pretty hard, uh, especially when you're just dealing with a, like an iron pickaxe. Uh, but right now, um, I don't think that there's anything around. I don't really hear any lava noises or water noises or or creeper or um, uh, mob noises rather. Uh, so I think it's probably pretty safe to just go ahead and take this stuff here. Gravel's probably the uh, the worst thing that could happen to me at this point. I do hear a bat, um, but not much else. All right. I'm also uh, that's uh, the mobs falling on my head is also the reason why I'm uh, mining from the top down here. Uh, that uh, tends to be a little bit safer than breaking the bottom block and then breaking the top block of these two high shafts. So I'm always going to go from top to bottom. A lot of coal here. This is probably a double vein. Gonna risk breaking that block there. Yeah, coal is not gonna not gonna be a problem. I uh, I'm gonna come away with as much coal as I can grab, and I probably will not find more than I need. Uh, in the end, uh, for this particular project. I do need uh, just 30 redstone and a half stack of iron. Um, the um, uh, but I do need lots of furnace fuel and uh, lots of torches. Um, so even if I got four stacks of coal, it still wouldn't quite be as much as I would need for the whole project. So I'll just go ahead and grab every bit of coal that I find. Let me go ahead and fill this in. I run out of junk blocks. All right, now this redstone um, in filling in uh, in filling in this uh, this branch, I, I would hide this redstone. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it, and this one too. These are still exposed, so I'm going to leave those alone. Here, let's just fill this in quick. Okay, and uh, at this point, this branch is finished. There's six down from the torch, so I'm gonna go back to extending my um, uh, my. Well, that was just finishing up that branch, I guess. Uh, this branch is already done. Uh, except I've got some diamonds down here, so let me go ahead and grab those. Uh, first, it looks like I'm going to need another pickaxe. And let me go ahead and cook up another one of these chicken using this spent wooden uh, spent wooden pickaxe. Okay, let's see how many diamonds we have here. Again, it's a little bit risky if there's a too uh, too high drop there, uh, but because um, I don't really hear any mob noises around uh, other than a bat, 
Uh, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, got some, uh, some gravel there, uh, which is fine. I'm, I will be looking for uh, to get um, a couple of other items uh, that if I find during the course of this mining, that would be fantastic. Um, one piece of flint. Uh, I just need one piece, um, uh, so I'll, I'll be holding on to uh, one of these um, uh, one of these blocks of gravel, uh, and I will also be needing uh, if I, I will also need uh, some lava. So if I end up encountering any lava, I'm going to be sure to uh, craft uh, some buckets using my iron and grab three uh, three source blocks. don't think that I need to go around there. It's, uh, it's enough gravel that I'm dealt with so far. Okay, this is a nice, uh, nice note of iron here, or, or a nice note of diamonds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking some of these that I know I can get away with. Okay, this one I'm going to have to dig around, make sure there's nothing underneath. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these and then fill this back up. Okay, I've already got a piece of flint so I can get rid of the gravel, I don't really need it. Um, uh, gravel is a nice, uh, a nice gravity block, like sand, but um, I've already got plenty of sand, so... And what are the blocks I don't care about? Granite... here. Let's get rid of that. I'm running out of, uh, running out of junk blocks, um, which is uh, kind of a good sign because it means that this mine has been pretty productive so far. It's not really necessary to fill this all up, but again, I like to do it just so that um, I don't have, I don't need to remember anything special about this mine if I ever come back here, um, and so uh, there's no surprises. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six from the torch, so um, that's at a light level of eight. Uh, and now I can go ahead and continue uh, continue mining forward here. So three down my main line, two, three, and the last branch goes to the right, so the next branch is going to go to the left. Okay, let's reclaim some of these torches. Don't need them anymore. Um, the, each torch of the branch not only is going to light all the way down to the end of the branch, uh, but it's going to light three uh, squares of the uh, uh, three blocks of the main line here. So uh, that torch down here is going to light this block, that block, and that block to a light level of, uh, of eight uh, on the sides and a light level of nine here. Uh, so it'll light these three, uh, these three um, uh, blocks. Uh, and I have a branch uh, every three blocks. So here's a branch. If I count one, two, three blocks away, here's another branch. So, uh, so, this, uh, so that torch over there is lighting these three, which means that I don't need to keep any, uh, any torches at all in my main line. Okay, down two, three, four, five. Drop a torch, and I'm just going to finish this off before I get that iron. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and grab the iron now. See how much we have. There's two. Okay, another one up there. A 
All right, got seven more. Uh, plus, uh, if you remember, there's uh, some iron ore in the uh, vertical shaft that I used to get down here. Okay, so that is the fourth branch finished. Um, if all the if this main line came to an end, basically there was just a giant lava pool or something, uh, I could go in the other direction. So um, uh, it gives me a little bit of options. I usually don't have to improvise all that much because um, uh, even though there can be a lot of cave systems and lava around at this uh, at this layer, uh, it has not typically been a problem for me in terms of uh, having enough uh, having enough options to move around. Drop a torch, so that's five blocks in. Now six more blocks. Okay, that branch is done, and I would just continue mining uh, down the main line uh, until I had reached my quota for uh, for iron and redstone. You can see that I'm I'm going to get the redstone pretty fast. I only need 30. I'm short by eight. Uh, the iron is going to really be the problem. Uh, I have uh, let's see, do I have any cooking in here? No, just some chicken. Okay, so so far I've gotten 13 iron. Um, I've got uh, seven here plus three here plus three went into the iron pickaxe. So uh, I would need to find 19 more. Uh, I'd probably go up and grab the iron up there just to know how many I have. Uh, but the, the iron is going to take me the longest time to get. The um, the redstone is is really nothing flat. So uh, I've, I've already got 32. So uh, I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, it's, uh, it's just really easy to get. I'm not going to go out of my way to get it. Uh, this one will get covered up, so I'll go ahead and grab that one. And um, and that's pretty much it. That's uh, that's how I would get the materials that I need. Um, I'm not going to finish all the way until I get to, until I get my uh, 32 iron. Um, but in in order to get out of here, you do need to kind of have to uh, jump climb uh, because of the ladder placement. Um, it does. Uh, Require a little bit of uh, of care, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, like I like I said, it's not uh, it's not very easy or it's not very convenient. This ladder placement to get out, it's really just meant to get down to a, a low layer really fast, and and it did that for me. So uh, I'm gonna go all the way back out. It is nighttime, so there are probably mobs uh, at the surface, uh, but because I have my door enclosure. And uh, nobody is going to bother me. Heard a slime somewhere. Okay, so here we are. Um, it's raining outside. Um, there's a slime over there because I'm in a, a, a swamp biome. Um, but uh, I would just wait here for the day or, what, or where, whatever. And if I saw a, a nice escape route, I'd just take off. Um, this is what's going to get me down. Uh, uh, the, the ladders and the sand are going to get me down quickly and safely. Uh, and the doors are going to make sure that I'm safe on the way back up. It's really go only going to take me uh, two, maybe three Minecraft days to get all the material that I'll need, and I can do it, just, like I said, right at the beginning of a game. Uh, and uh, that is it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please leave a note in the comments.